हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास सेवेंथ कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर कंपोनेंट नाउ डेज वी नो द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ कंप्यूटर इन अवर लाइफ कंप्यूटर इज अ मशीन दैट मेक्स अवर लिविंग इजी it is the most important part of our life because we can see in each and every area computer is using nowadays so it is a requirement that everyone must know how to use this machine in this series we are going to understand the main component main concept of computer that is hardware okay so now let's start so there are two major components of a computer hardware and software so before describing about hardware i want to give a brief description about software what is software software is a set of programs which control the internal activities internal operations of a computer and it instructs the a computer what and how to do it is a logical part of a computer which we cannot touch or we cannot see basically computer uh, software is divided into two category first one is system software and second one is application software okay so the most important software is system software because without system software we cannot use any application software as well as we can't use the computer the most important system software is operating system operating system is the system software that control over all activities of a computer for example if we have a car so without driver that car can't play uh, can't move from one place to another place just like that if operating system is not present in the computer then that computer is useless that is like an empty box the second category of software is application software these software are used to perform a specific task these are used to uh, perform particular task for example for drawing we can use ms paint for documentation we can use ms word for presentation we can use powerpoint for a calculation for making spreadsheet we can use ms excel for making the editing in photographs we can use photoshop that mean each and every application software has its own particular purpose okay so now once again what is software software is a set of programs which control over all operations of a computer and instructs the computer what and how to do and this is the part of computer which we can't see and we can't touch okay now let's move to the next heading that is hardware that is hardware what is hardware hardware is the physical component of a computer which we can touch or feel okay all the part of a computer which we can touch which we can see which we can feel are known as hardware okay means uh, you can see that all the input devices output devices storage devices as well as uh, so many components are also placed inside the cpu cabinet okay so these all are known as hardware both hardware and software are interdependent on each other okay because of hardware software is working because of software hardware is working so both are interdependent on each other if one is missing then computer is useless now we can take uh, the example of cd okay uh, if in the cd compact disk okay if uh, we have installed some software if we have stored some uh, songs in that cd then that song is software that is the example of software and because we can touch that cd 
that that means that cd is the hardware okay so the storing the stored song or softwares are the soft uh, stored songs are the example of software and because we can feel we can touch we can see that cd that compact disc physically so that is the hardware okay now right next one is types of hardware so there are two types of hardware first one is internal hardware and second one is external hardware okay the components that are installed inside the cpu cabinets are known as internal hardware and the components which are installed outside the cpu cabinet are known as external hardware okay cpu chip ram rom disk drives motherboard and many more are the example of internal hardware and input devices output devices storage devices are the example of external hardware now we are going to uh, understand all the internal hardware components in a computer system so in this series the first component is motherboard that is the main circuit board of a computer that hold all the essential components of a computer system and it provides a single platform to connect all the parts of computer together and allow them to communicate with each other okay this is the main board which contain all components together that's why it is known as motherboard so motherboard mainly contains processor chip bios the meaning of bios is basic input output system memory chips the meaning of memory chips ram rom and slots slots means so lots of ports are there which are connect which are used to connect input or output devices okay next one is pci pci means peripheral component interconnect a connection between motherboard and any connected hardware okay peripheral means input and output devices okay means extra input or output devices okay uh, means uh, by the help of pci or uh, these uh, pci are the connection point uh, that are available in motherboard okay and uh, we can connect uh, means hardware with uh, to motherboard by the help of pci like sound card video card modem etc and it was introduced in 1992 by intel okay next component is sound card sound card component is fixed on the motherboard and enables the computer to play music through output devices like speakers headphones and as well as it is used to record our voice through microphone next component is video card and video card is also known as graphic card and it provides us the high quality of images and videos on output screen such as monitor tv or projector the next component is cpu central processing unit okay and you all know uh, very well about cpu cpu is also known as microprocessor it is also known as brain of the computer and it control all the instructions receives from hardware and software running on a computer and the metal uh, which is used for making the cpu chip is silicon okay and uh, three components of cpu are the mu memory unit alu arithmetic and logical unit and cu control unit okay mu uh, whenever the user entered any data so that is stored in memory okay so that's contained by the memory unit alu arithmetic and logical unit that is used to perform arithmetic operation like addition subtraction multiplication division and logical operation like uh, less than uh, greater than or equal to uh, not equal to etc the speed of cpu the meaning of speed of cpu is number of instructions the cpu is executing per second that is known as speed of cpu and that is measured in megahertz okay and you can write that in short mhz the next component is 
there are two types of memory in computer first one is primary memory and second is secondary memory primary memory is very important and that is categorized into two category ram and rom and secondary memory contains so many storage devices uh, like hard disk cd dvd blu ray disk uh, pen drive etc so now let's discuss about ram ram is very important component in computer system and the full form of ram is random access memory and it is the volatile memory therefore whatever data is stored in ram that will automatically er erased whenever we switch off the computer or if there is any power failure okay so ram is very important ram is very essential component okay because whenever we run any program that is loaded into the ram for example if we are using ms word then first of all ms word start lo uh, loading from secondary memory into ram and then we are able to use ms word application same happens with other programs as well as whenever we start the computer we all know that operating system is stored in secondary memory okay and whenever we start the computer first of all that os start loading from uh, secondary memory into ram that's why we are able to use a computer okay so means all the programs which we are using in computer those all uh, means stored first of all those all stored in ram then we are able to use that program and there are two categories of ram static ram and dynamic ram as well as real world example of ram are blackboard and calculator second one is read only memory or rom and it is just opposite of ram it is non volatile memory so therefore data and instruction are stored here permanently and rom store the instructions that required to start a computer whenever we start the computer okay so there are uh, some instructions needed and those instruction instruct the computer uh, for the opening process for the starting process okay so ram and rom both are very important and uh, uh, ram is volatile memory that means data will not stored permanently in ram and rom is a vol non volatile memory so that's why it stores the instruction permanently next one is example of rom is audio video disk okay once we burn any audio or video disk with uh, some videos and uh, audios then we cannot rewrite yeah we cannot overwrite that audio video disk again okay next one is disk drive disk drive contains hard disk drive cd drive dvd drive etc hard disk drive contain hard disk that is the uh, most important uh, storage device cd drive is used to uh, run read and write the cds and dvd drive is used to uh, is responsible for uh, run uh, read and uh, writing of data of dvds next component is smps next component is smps the full form of smps is switched mode power supply switched mode power supply and uh, this component is very important for safe running of power consuming electrical and electronic devices all the electrical and electronic devices are running safely um, because of smps okay and it always supplies a well regulated power to the motherboard and other part of computer and saves power and also it contains a fan to release the heat during the computer in use next internal component is modem okay modem and it stands for modulator demodulator and used to connect the computer to internet through telephone lines by converting digital data into analog signal and again analog signal into digital data 
एंड इट कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इंटू थ्री थ्री टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज इंटरनल मॉडम सेकेंड वन इज एक्सटर्नल मॉडम एंड थर्ड वन इज पीसी कार्ड मॉडम द फर्स्ट वन इज इंटरनल मॉडम दैट इज ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल्ड इन द कंप्यूटर ओके सेकेंड वन इज एक्सटर्नल मॉडम दैट इज इंस्टॉल्ड आउटसाइड द सीपीयू एंड कनेक्टेड बाई द यूएसबी पोर्ट ओके थर्ड वन इज पीसी कार्ड मॉडम एंड इट इज सिमिलर टू द साइज ऑफ एटीएम कार्ड एंड फिट्स इन टू द पीसी कार्ड स्लॉट और ऑफ लैपटॉप एंड द स्पीड ऑफ मॉडम इज मेजर्ड इन बीपीएस और केबीपीएस यानी कि बिट पर सेकेंड और किलो बिट्स पर सेकेंड ओके सो मॉडम इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कनेक्टिंग अवर कंप्यूटर विद इंटरनेट एंड इट 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 हैज थ्री टाइप्स यू कैन सी नेक्स्ट कंपोनेंट इज हीट सिंक हीट सिंक इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस दैट इज यूज टू डिस्पर्स द हीट जनरेटेड बाय द सीपीयू इट इज कॉमनली यूज इन ऑल सीपीयूज एंड द जॉब ऑफ हीट सिंक इज टू कीप द प्रोसेसर कूल बाय द हेल्प ऑफ फैन इट कंटेन्स अ बिल्ट इन फैन दैट डिस्पर्स द हीट जनरेटेड बाय द प्रोसेसर वेन एवर इट प्रोसेस एनी डेटा next component is ports ports means slots and these slots are present on motherboard and act as a point of connection between computer and other external input and output devices so there are many type of ports available in the motherboard first one is serial port serial port is used earlier time and it is used for uh, transmission of one bit of data at a time it is used for devices that do not require high speed of transmission like mouse keyboard modem etc next port is parallel port parallel port transmits several bits of data together and uh, uh, whenever we need high speed of data transmission then we can use parallel port like scanner printer cd writer external hard disk these whenever we want to connect these uh, devices uh, with computer then we can use parallel port next port is usb universal serial bus and this port transmits data as well as it can also act as a power supply for devices connected to it next is vga video graphic array and it is similar to the serial port and connect video equipments to the computer like monitor and others next one is hdmi port and it is used to connect uh, hd monitors projectors as well as hd game consoles uh, hd cameras etc next one is ethernet whenever we want to connect with any in, uh, network then we can use our uh, means uh, th this is the wired connection okay whenever we want to connect our computer with network then we can use ethernet port and the last one is audio port and this audio port is used for uh, playing music playing sound using a speaker and a blue uh, headphone as well as we can use this audio port for recording our voice recording any audio so this is for the uh, internal hardware component of computer okay now in the next video i will discuss about the external hardware components of computer okay that's all